Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. Ha! Always excited with you guys because uh, it's a new video, and uh, the new video is all about Exchange 2013. Uh, I, I think not too long ago, uh, I went over the the prerequisites that you guys needed on your server to uh, get your Exchange 2013 installed into the server. Uh, I will place an annotation somewhere on the video so you guys can click on that and check that video so you get yourself up and ready. Also, I will place the link at the description. So let's get started. Now, I already installed everything that I needed to install. I actually placed the CD of Exchange 2013. It's already in it. So we're going to start the installation like right now. So I'm going to go to computer, I'm going to right click on my D drive, and I'm going to do install and run the program. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing when you start in installing Exchange 2013, is going to want you to check for updates. Okay, you can have set up download Exchange Server 2013 updates for the internet before you install Exchange, blah, 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 blah. It really is up to you if you guys want to do this. Um, I'm going to do connect to the internet and check for updates. Because, again, uh, Exchange 2013, I want to have this box fully updated with no problem. So let's hit next on this. And it's going to start downloading all the updates. And, like, right now, no updates found. Uh, click next to continue with setup. That's pretty awesome. So let's hit next. Uh, it's copying files. Setup needs to copy the files that are required to install Exchange 2000 server. Uh, this most likely is going to take a while. So you guys go get a cup of coffee. And uh, I'll see you when we almost done. And it looks like it finished copying the files. It's now initializing the setup. So it's uh, another waiting game, guys. And i see you when we come back. And we're back. So once the copy and initialization is completed, you're going to get to this portion right here. It's going to be introducing itself. Welcome Microsoft Exchange to Server 2013. And blah, 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 blah. Uh, you got a couple of links right here that you can read if you want. Uh, we're going to hit next. Uh, we are going to accept the license agreement. And we're going to hit next. And it's going to want you to do uh, recommended settings or don't use the recommended settings. I'm going to use the recommended settings, you know. I want uh, I want the Exchange server to automatically check online for solutions, encounters, errors, provides uses, feedback to Microsoft. Let's, let's check. <coughs> <coughs> let's let um, Exchange 2013 um, do its thing. So we're going to hit next. Uh, for the server role selection, I am going to be picking the mailbox role and the client access role because, again, this is a, a testing environment. I want both of these things to be on the same box. Okay, uh, we're going to hit next. Uh, but again, let me go back. And uh, best practice is most likely you're not going to have the mailbox row and the client access row on the same box. So don't think this is a production move. Uh, this is more of a testing lab move. Uh, but if you guys are doing this in a production, you're going to be separating these two roles in two different server boxes. Uh, hit next. Uh, best practice, I believe, in my eyes is uh, move the exchange to something to another partition. Don't leave it on the C drive. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Hit next. And then on the exchange organization, is really up to you what you guys want to want to name it. I'm going to leave it as first organization because, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to leave it as first organization and hit next. And the malware protection settings, this is really up to you if you guys want to do this. Uh, the malware protection is is now based on Forefront. Uh, only consider disabling this if you plan to deploy some third-party malware, you know, you know, AV scanning software. So I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna hit no for this. Hit next, and it's gonna do the readiness check. Hopefully everything goes well, and if everything passes, we're good. We're ready to install. So I received a warning. And the warning is installing Exchange Server on a domain controller will uh, elevate the permissions of the Exchange Trusted sub, sub, uh, System to Domain Administrator. 
Again, I'm running everything in one box, which is not really best practice, guys. I don't want you to guys to be uh, doing this on an actual production because this is not really best practice. In a lab environment, you're doing it at work, yes. You can create a virtual machine, uh, install Active Directory on it, uh, install DNS, install DHCP, install the, the mailbox row, install You could do all that in one box because, again, this is for testing only. You want to make sure everything is working properly in your environment before you start pushing this stuff out in mass production. So I'm going to hit install. And this installation normally takes between 45 to an hour. So it's pretty huge. Um, so if you guys are planning to do this in a production environment, this is most likely a Friday afternoon kind of job or a weekend job. Uh, but most likely you're doing it on um, a physical server. And then when you're ready to cut over, you cut over. And we're back, guys. Oh my god, it took a while. It normally takes between an hour to 45 minutes. Setup is completed. Congratulations, it has finished successfully. Awesome. If you guys want, you could check this off to launch it. Hit finish, and it will launch the console. Best practice for me, what I will normally do, I won't launch it. I will push out all the Windows updates on the physical machine or the virtual machine, and then launch it. And that's about it, guys. On the, I'm gonna have more videos dealing with Exchange 2013, uh, dealing with the post and the uh, pre-installation stuff that you guys need to do to get it up and running. This is only the installation part, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Give me thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. <laughs>